One. I am Phil Schreifel, principal at Rogers Elementary. I'd like to tell you today that we've had a great start to the school year. A couple things that have really started off great. This is our second year of our STEM program. We've expanded the program from one section to two sections. And the kids are really excited about all the technology and all the um, exciting learning we're doing with the program. Uh, the second exciting thing too is we're implementing a new math curriculum that really meets the kids' needs. Uh, it's really exciting to have a current curriculum. Um, and thankfully, we have had so much support from the parents, the teachers, and the, the children in our school. I'd like to thank you for that because without you guys, we'd have a really difficult job. But today, I'm going to ask you uh, for your support, something that's coming up that I really need your help with. Our school board has two questions on the Tuesday, November 6, 2012 ballot. I cannot ask for your vote, but I can ask that you know the facts. The school board's first question is renewal of an expiring 10-year levy. This is a graphic description of how your continued taxes will be used. As this is an extension of an expiring levy at the same dollar amount, it's not expected to cause any significant changes in your property taxes. Our school board's second question asks the voters for a new 10-year levy that, if approved, will result in new ISD 728 funding. This is a graphic description of how the new funding will be used. An important point, question two can only be enacted if question one is passed. In the coming weeks, I'll be getting back to you on how all these questions, if approved, will affect Rogers Elementary School. Before the upcoming election, I encourage you to get more information about our levy by visiting the district website, our website, or calling me, or stopping in. I want to thank you for your support and all your volunteerism at the school because it's your support that makes us great. Thank you.